we had a little sneak preview um, on Tuesday and for me I was airing that night like my first ever episode so to actually sit with everyone and watch myself I was like oh god this is so nerve wracking I really hope because I've not seen anything I was like please do please be good please be believable but yeah and it was great a proper baptism of fire because not only have you got like a massive wedding as your first scene but you're watching it with the entire well she was entire Hollyoaks cast crew your boss your boss's boss and you're just praying you're going oh god I hope people think I'm good but yeah you were good you were quite good thanks cheers thanks (laughs) average I'll do a lot bit better next time what would you say is uh, Porsche's defining characteristic um I mean she's feisty she's a massive personality she's so loyal for a fact she's all about family and I think she just you know she's travelled around the world she's very socially aware she knows how to mix with people and she's quite she can work people out quite quickly and she's just very true what you see is what you get and she acts with this hard hysteria she's soft as anything inside so. uh, and quite liberal as well because as we discover on um, on your wedding day um, your, your husband to be your husband is bisexual yeah kind of um yeah, I think she just likes a challenge and she just thinks, you know, once the past is the past. Um, and for her, she could, you know, go for anyone. And, but I think with him, she's met her match. So it's kind of tit for tat. And I think that the drama, that's what she thrives on. Because I, I think if she just had a yes man, she'd just be bored and she'd eat them alive. Your first weekend of work and you're filming um, you're filming a train crash like that. It's kind of like the only way it's down after that, isn't it? Oh, well, I actually I had one week at Lyme and then we went to Bury uh, for three weeks. And it, to me, that was just like the norm. Like we were just there, we were on location and um, it was great. But then coming back, there was a point where we were filming and I think it was like towards maybe the second to last day and the weather turned. It was started raining, it started getting cold, and I was like, yeah, it's our time to go, we need to go back home now. By that point, we've been in hotels every night, we were tired, mentally drained, so it's quite nice to get back to base and you know, just go to the canteen for a cup of coffee rather than sit on a train and yeah. walk. You no, know? More, no more kilts and wedding no. dresses, yeah. jeans and trainers. It's like, yeah, nice. It was nice to open the change room and not have the full... Dirt. Yeah, dirty... Well, yours was wedding dresses, oh yeah, kilts I was filthy by the end. And the amount of dirt they had to put on, and then you're just there trying to scrub your skin at night, and it just looks like you just had a mud bath, basically. Oh, really? Yeah. Hard job, isn't it? 